so stuff happens when you're building buses um, we didn't actually intend on having a white bathroom floor <laughs> but you know accidents happen and the paint went flying and um, the good thing is it is in the bathroom and the bathroom floor will actually be covered Are you having fun in your naughty corner? It's making me feel a bit blue. It's so cheesy. <laughs> Lame. So what I am doing at the moment is in the kitchen. The kitchen. I am putting these little um, lights up in the corner. So that when we open the cupboard we can see what is inside so this has just got like a push thingy bajig in here and so it comes and pulls it off it's just a little bracket that you screw on it's a little bit fiddly to try and get it into the right spot but see how dark it is in there without any light and then once we put the light in We'll be able to see all those things right in the back. I used to find it really frustrating in our old bus that I couldn't find anything, see stuff in the back of the cupboards because it was dark. Um, yeah, so I think these little lights will be real handy. So when we shut the door, you probably can't tell, but oh, there we go, the light turns off. Yay, so exciting. So I had to make a wee piece to fit down here this is the one where I almost cut the sawhorse in half um, it doesn't matter that the grain's going the opposite way because we're actually painting this this is the just so you see it's the inside bottom uh, Z this bunk between so we've got the wall between here and the shower I wanted to line it on the inside here because around here oof, we can get the camera around there up th through that pink wood is where the plumbing will come and run up this wall for the shower so we wanted a nice decent piece of ply in here for the wall to line that so she didn't have to see any plumbing so I finally got it to fit but this is the second piece I had to do so it took me two attempts to um, actually cut it and then a few attempts to take it out and trim it up so it actually fits um, some days what you don't see on film is me losing my rag because again because my brain doesn't function as well as it used to I don't always process things properly and if you know somebody who's had a head injury or a stroke you might understand that there comes a lot of frustration with, with not being able to do what you used to be able to do so well um, so I'm still adjusting to that so it is kind of making the bus building process a lot slower um, I think Cindy's very patient <laughs> with me uh, sometimes she'll tell me to stop throwing my toys out of the cot um, but it is a frustrating process and I am getting used to it slowly um, but it really does make building a bus really quite tricky at times yeah but it fits so I'm very happy and you know and um, yeah it's another job done And this is how my brain works. I don't normally show this on camera. Since my stroke, <laughs> you might notice if you look really carefully at this filming, I was about to cut a line through here. Slight problem, we have a sawhorse in the way. This is not an uncommon occurrence <laughs> since, since, my, um, since my stroke. So that's uh, how strokes can screw with your head sometimes. But anyway, fortunately I caught it in time, unlike when I cut our whole bus floor out, and um, we'll turn the wood around. So 
So I reckon this is starting to look really cool with the red for Judas, blue for the Zevers, blue for the Zevers, blue for Zevers. Um, we keep going to put the slats on, but we keep thinking of other ideas. So we want to have a, I'm thinking about, in the wall here, Judah wanted a little secret compartment for his laptop, so it'll look like a picture, and he'll have a secret pin somewhere he'll pull out, and it'll drop down with his laptop sitting on it. So, that's just a thought. Whether we do it or not, it just really depends um, whether I can be bothered, because it'll be a little bit involved but it would be really, really cool to have a little secret hiding place. I know when I was a kid, I used to love having secret hiding places for my stuff. So we'll see, see what we can come up with. Drinking three litres of water a day and building a bus. Yay, and what are we gonna do in the bus today? How am I gonna- You've gotta finish that plug you're putting in. Oh, I've gotta finish, I'm putting a plug in. I've got some holes started to drill for the plug hole and I managed to snap the jigsaw blade because I pulled it out too soon when I was drilling, the, when I was cutting the hole I pulled the jigsaw out too soon and it just caught on the edge and snapped the blade and so that was the end of my building yesterday until <laughs> um, we got some new jigsaw blades so I'm going to put the kids plugs in now so that's the first plug in on Judah's bunk wall we've put it up sort of high because obviously he's going to have a mattress and a pillow and stuff and he'll probably change which ends he puts it at so I've just set them up relatively high and they will be just wired and run through the back and down under the floor to the inverter. So that will be good because they will be able to charge their laptops and phones and bits and pieces. Um, yeah, which will be fantastic for them. So Cindy's inside looking for um, the jigsaw blades. <laughs> um, I remember bringing them out here last night now. Did you find them? <laughs> yeah, no, I brought them out last night. Right, yo, know, hint for the day. When purchasing off Trade Me, make sure you ask lots of questions. Um, we brought a fridge, the auction described it as working great um, in good condition all that sort of stuff and so we did a buy now on the auction we paid our money and I went to pick it up and it was wasn't until I paid and picked it up went to pick it up that they actually mentioned oh there is a little bit of rust in it um, that just might need a little bit of attention and I was like well you know you didn't mention that in the auction anyway I got it home and we started to open the fridge and have a look at it to install it and, you know, and I had looked at it there it didn't look too bad but when I started to pull on a piece of the front edge all of a sudden this we found all this so we've lost all our steel bar for the front of the fridge um, you know it's not that great they said the seals were great the seals are not great um, people, if you're going to put something on Trade Me, be honest about what you're selling. And if people want it, they'll want it, otherwise you're just going to basically piss people off. Um, I emailed them and sent them a picture of the state of the fridge and said I don't think it was worth, definitely not worth what you had put it on for. And the fact that they actually hadn't even mentioned the rust in the auction, although they did know it was there. Um, funny enough, I haven't had a reply. So we're going to have a go at restoring this fridge. Um, because what we'll need to do basically is cut off here, remove all that section, clean it up really well, take these edges back as far as they've rusted, uh, and then we'll get a piece of steel, bend it up and re-rivet it to hopefully fit that on, and hopefully that will take care of that. The only thing is we've got these special holes here for screwing the door hinges on, um, so I'll have to work out, I'll check if they just come straight out and be able to be replaced. So we'll do that and then we'll put a new door seal on. Um, but this fridge must have got really wet at some stage. They must have had a flood or something because this is the front of the door. I've just taken the end off and all this is just 
rotten and soft. So, you know, I think they could have been a lot fairer on their price or, um, to be honest, just scrapped it. Um, but, us being us, we're going to have a go at fixing it and see what we come up with. You may see us shopping for a new fridge yet. So we're going to have a nice wood stained door on our fridge. So I suppose the lesson to be learnt from this is that um, you know sometimes we can look at things and they can look useless and they can look rubbish and you just sort of feel a bit frustrated and just want to give up. But um, I've actually I've cut the rust off here now, so I've taken that piece right out. And I'm pretty sure we can get a nice piece of steel to fold nicely to put in there. Um, the door's going to look better because it's going to match our walls. So we've taken something that was frustrating and ugly. And I think we're going to turn it into something that is going to look alright in the bus. And, and will be functional. So I'm feeling a bit happier about that. <laughs> if you're looking at things in life and they don't look so good sometimes... Have a bit of faith that, you know, sometimes they can turn out better. Actually, it's quite funny, cause, well, it wasn't funny, but after my heart attack, I remember I came up with a saying um, that if something breaks, pick up the pieces and build something better. And that was sort of referring to my life. I thought it was sort of all over with the travelling and all that after I had my heart attack. But, you know, I actually think we're building something better with our lives now and we're really excited about what we're doing and where we're going and um, you know there's been a lot of new opportunities because of that so you know if you're watching this video and you're going through a bit of a tough time be encouraged they don't last forever some last longer than others but you know it's like this fridge we're taking something that sort of looked a bit hopeless and I think we're going to turn it into something quite nice so yeah be encouraged are you having fun in your um, naughty corner mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm feeling a little blue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't execute that very well. <laughs> 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 we should do it again. <laughs>